resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live again. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. He that is born of a woman is but a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. We brought nothing into this world and it's certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though in a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God bless you. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Director. If there's anyone that has not had the opportunity to view, uh, you may come at this time. Amen. If you've not had that opportunity, you may come. Amen. There will be no post viewing or no viewing hereafter is what it is. So you may come. Amen. Feel free. Amen. At the request of the family, there will be no post viewing. If you desire to. All right. To make sure that everyone has that opportunity, amen, to have that final viewing, you may come at this time. Program. A good friend, Sister Scott, amen, Sister Maureen. Thank God for these friends that are here in the audience, standing in support of this family, this great family. Upon the request of the family, the briar will be closed at this time, amen, not to be reopened in consideration of the family. Bless you and Brother Scott, if you will. Amen. Brother Stout, if you will. He's got some soft music there. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. At this time, in the hands of our MC of the hour, amen, the elder Don Hawkins. Come on, let's put our hand together for the life of Mother, pray God, of Mother Mathis. Put together our hands for that life. Well lived, and to God be the glory. Come on, let's say amen. Come on, let's say amen again. Amen. God has been good to us one more time. Even though you're here 
for this occasion. But yet God is still good. And we must realize that God makes no mistakes. There's a time coming that our time is approaching and we must be ready. And when that time come, remember God makes no mistakes. Life is like a road. You have some long roads. Many of you are familiar with I-10. I-10 go from east to west. It's a long road. That means some people live to be 95, 100, and 100 plus. Some may not make a year. But God makes no mistakes. We all have an appointed time. And we're here today to celebrate the life of Sister Claire, the life that she lived. Knowing the Lord is the most important thing. Having a relationship with God, that's the most important thing you can do in life. Yeah, you raise your children, you, you take care of your husband, you take care of your wife, you go to work, you provide. But all of those things without a relationship with Christ means nothing. In the end, it means nothing. I have a question sometimes that I would ask people, what's the most important thing that you possess? And a lot of times they say, well, it's, it's my house, it's, it's my children, it's, it's, it's my wife, you know, uh, different things that they come up with. But no one comes up with the most important thing you possess is your soul. Your soul. What are you going to do for your soul? Amen. As we move forward to celebrate the life of Sister Claire, our Old Testament today will be read by Elder Stevens, our New Testament by Elder John Johnson, and we'll have a prayer by Elder William Watson. Let's say amen for them. If everyone would stand, please, except for the family. Family, you may stay seated. I'll be reading Old Testament scripture from Isaiah chapter 40, from verses 28 to 31. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. I want to read that one more time, my people. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his word. The New Testament scripture is taken from St. John 14. Verses 1 through 6. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. 
May God have a blessing to the reading of his word. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this day celebrating the life of Mother Mathis. Lord, we just lift the family up right now. Lord, I know that it's rough right now, Lord, but give them comfort, Lord. Give them peace, Lord. I know that they miss their mother, their family member, their friend right now, Lord, for the wisdom, for the, the cheering of her, Lord, but provide peace in their house, Lord. Lift, their, lift this family up right now, Lord, as they go through these things right now, Lord. But Lord, we also thank you for the life that they were able to share with Mother Mathis, Lord. Lord, just give them peace, give them comfort, and give them understanding, Lord. As we celebrate, as we lift her up to you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. 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 Right now we'll have the resolutions by Missionary Barbara Tyler. Say amen as she comes. I'm working on a building. It's a sure foundation. I'm holding up the blood stain banner for my Lord. When I get through working on this old building, I'm going up to heaven to get my reward. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Today we do give honor to God, who is the head of our life, to the Bishop and pastor of this church, the shepherd, the Bishop Shelton C. Rose, to all the elders on the roster, to the missionaries, to Mother, to Lady Rose, we thank God for you and for you, the bereaved family. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we come to rejoice and to be glad in it. Praise Cathedral, Church of God in Christ. 5895 Ben Zingerman Road, San Antonio, Texas. Resolution for Mother Clara E. Mattis. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus keeps me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied just as long as I walk let me walk close to thee, just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close to thee, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Revelations 14, 13 reads as, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, yea, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor and their works do follow them. Beloved, heaven has one more angel by the passing of this gentle, quiet spirit of Mother Clara Mattis, who was a mother, a sister, a grandmother, and friend. Whereas Mother Mattis joined the Praise Cathedral Church family under the late Bishop Samuel Edward Iglehart and continued working in God's vineyard under our, the leadership of her new pastor, the Bishop Shelton C. Rose. Mother Mattis loved the Lord with all her heart, mind, body, and soul. She loved studying the Word of God by attending our Bible study. Sunday school, and morning worship with her friends, Mother Marine Lerman and Sister Catherine Scott. She remained faithful to the Lord, thank you God, to her pastor and church uh, until her death. Revelations 2, 10b says, be thy faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. 
Mother Mathis has gone to receive her eternal reward. Whereas the Bishop Shelton C. Rose, officers and members of the Praise Cathedral Church family bow our heads in humble submission to the Master's will and are more determined to live so that we may one day join with Mother Mattis in that beautiful place that the Lord has prepared for his people, to her children and loved ones who mourn her absence this day. A reminder that she was one of God's greatest gifts to this family. Some gifts are simply too special to keep to ourselves. In your mother's memory, we feel that the words of this poet were on her heart and in her mind. Oh, master, let me walk with thee in thy lowly paths of service free. Tell me thy secrets, help me bear the strain of toil, the fret of care. Teach me thy patience till with thee in closer, clearer company and works that keep faith sweet and strong and trust that triumphs over wrong. In hope that sends a shining ray far down the future's broadened way and peace that only thou canst give, with thee, O Master, let me live. Therefore, be it resolved, some gifts are simply too special to keep to ourselves. Know this and remember that over the years, she gave each of you faithful pages of memories. Cherish those precious memories. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. 2 Timothy 4, 7, and 8. A copy of this resolution is placed in our historical files, and a copy is given to the family. Prayerfully submitted, the Bishop Shelton C. Rose Pastor, Missionary Barbara Ann Ross Tyler, Church Historian. God bless. Let's say amen. Amen. Right now we're having remarks. For each one that want to have remarks, we want to ask you to come to this side of the sanctuary, to this podium. And we have two minutes. Please keep it at two minutes. For anyone that want to have remarks, please come now. I know we may look around. This is, this is Mother Mathis's church. This is her church. This is part of her uh, little piece of her church family. And th these are her friends that are back here. And won't, feel, won't you to feel welcome. Anything you want to say, you come on, you feel free to do it, because I don't want anybody leaving saying, I wish I should have, could have, because you love her, or you wouldn't be here today. Amen. Many others that are just unable to make it, but you love her. And if something you want to say, feel free. Have that liberty to come onto the mic if you'd like to. God bless you. Amen. We're going to move forward. They ask the elders to come and have remarks. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, Mother Mathis, what I normally do every Sunday morning or whatever, I go around and try to greet and, and talk to each and every single one uh, person and just make them feel welcome and, and, and loved here in this church because we are a caring, sharing church. And um, I had a chance to, you know, when I talked to her when she used to come, um, she was a very nice person very caring person. You could tell that she had a very uh, sweet spirit about her. Um, she didn't say too much. She was quiet, but you know, you can tell, you know, when I would go and talk and hug, I go around and talk and hug and shake and all that stuff. 
but she was very nice and had a very uh, wonderful spirit about her and she will be missed from uh, Praise Cathedral uh, family. Amen? Amen. Amen. Just praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, I'm the kind of person that anytime I can know, say that I knew someone who's saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, I can always guarantee that makes me happy in my spirit because that's where I live, and I ask that God would live within me so that I can also be a shining light unto others. So even though our sister here may be gone in the body, her spirit lives on, and that's something that you can always take, so to speak, and take it with you on the inside and use it to your benefit on the outside. One thing about the Holy Ghost is like a good glass of water. If you don't have water at all, you're in trouble. But if you do have some water in you, you know that you're good to go, and that spirit that she had will live continuously with not only her, but also with those of you who are willing to accept the Holy Ghost. Thank you. Amen. Just remember about Sister Claire, the family. She may be gone, but as the elder just said, she yet lives in you. And you live according to how you know she would want you to live, and that is the right way with the Lord. Come on, sister. Good afternoon to you all. My mother, Claire Mattis, she was a very committed mother. She loved everyone that she came in contact with. And I'm so happy that I was able to share her with some of you who are here. She loved unconditionally, even the grandchildren, when she never hear from them, she would pray them up. And uh, at the end of every conversation, she would say, I love you. I love her. And I miss her. And I'm just so happy. So she had my love with her. <laughs> May her soul rest in peace. <laughs> Amen. We're going to have a music selection played and after the music selection is over I want to ask that you stand to receive the pastor of this house as he come to do and give you what thus said the Lord amen
Come on, let's put our hands together once again for a life well spent. A life well spent in the way of Mother Mathis. Amen. To God be the glory. Our Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you once again. We come, God, thanking you, Lord, even now for being the God of all comfort and strength to this family as only you can. We thank you, Lord, for your merciful hand of protection in and upon this family's life. And I pray even now, Lord, that you comfort each and every one hallelujah, of this family. God, that you walk them through this as only you can in the name of Jesus. God, walk them through. Sister Monica, God, Brother Trevor today, Lord. Hallelujah, God, we ask you to walk them through in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Brother Delroy, Owen, and Harry and Royston and Beverly, God, the children, the grandchildren, throughout this all, God, you walk them through it as only you can. And, Lord, we give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Put those hands together one more time for a life well spent. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And to God be the glory. Amen. I want to thank God. Amen. Certainly for getting to know Mother Mathis, amen, we're getting to know her, amen. You may look around and, and uh, you, you look around now, but it wasn't always this way with this church. Uh, when we certainly give honor to God on today and want to thank God for our MC, Elder Hawkins, and for all these wonderful elders that grace the rostrum, amen, to assist on today. We want to thank God for our church mother, amen, Mother Mother Chandler, amen. We want to thank God for her, amen. My wife, Sister uh, Rhodes, was around here just a few minutes ago. And to these mothers that are standing by, these old standby, amen, that are here on today with this family as a reflection of of your mother's life. I want to thank God for, amen, Sister Catherine Scott, amen, another a good friend, a good standby friend, Sister Maureen. I want to thank God for her. Where, where did Sister Maureen go again? Where did she go? I keep missing. There she went. She way back there. All right, I see you. Pray God. On Sunday mornings, they'd be sitting right over here in this section, right over here, and I could catch that, amen. When I preach, I'd, I'd do a lot of moving around. I'd come from that direction, and I'd look right over and see Mother Mathis and Sister Maureen sitting right over there. And I want to thank God for this family allowing us to serve you. And as we say to today, a life well spent. And I want to let you know, I think it was this past Sunday. Amen. Owen, raise your hand, Owen. Owen gave his life to the Lord. He gave his life to Jesus. <laughs> On this past Sunday, amen, his mother's been walking with the Lord for a while, amen, living for the Lord, and to see her life reflected, if you will, that um, to see her life reflected, that we understand that her church home there, former church home there in Alaska, Fairbanks, Alaska, amen, sent a, a document with, am I right, with pictures and, and, and just beautiful memories of your mother's life. All right, there it is. Beverly has it back there. Isn't that a blessing? Come on, let's thank God. Amen. That's from Fairbanks, Alaska, in church. Church of God in Christ, where, amen, Mother Mathis served so faithfully, amen, be it Sunday school, be it uh, hospitality, be it ushering, be it whatever, whatever her hands could find to do, amen, we find out that testament, amen, that was sent from Alaska. We knew it here in, in, in uh, uh, San Antonio, but to hear that where she was, amen, is a blessing, amen, and so to think about this family and to look at her life, amen, her life for the Lord and to look at her life, amen, that inspired this family, that inspired this family. It is reflected in her children, amen, when you look at their lives and what God has blessed her children to accomplish, amen. As I talked to, amen, Brother Delroy the other day, coming down from Fort Hood, am I right, Sergeant Major, what am I saying? Sergeant Major, and he was carrying himself so well, I said, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. He said, Mom was 70. I said, man, I'm 60 years old, praise the Lord, but I want to thank God. God, how this family carries them. So let's thank God for this family on today. What a blessing, a reflection of their mother's life. And as one was stating just a little bit ago, talking about Mother Mathis was quiet. That's where wisdom works. Wisdom and knows when to be quiet. Pray God. But wisdom also knows when to speak. Pray God. I'm talking about the wisdom in the Word of God. Amen. That's first, as it says in James 3 and 17. It 
it's first pure then it's peaceable, it's gentle, it's easy to be entreated, it's approachable, it's full of mercy and good fruit without partiality and without hypocrisy. That's the wisdom from above, praise God. Devilish wisdom from below where envy and strife is, there's confusion and every evil work. Think about mom's life, think about your mother's life, praise God. It wasn't a life of confusion, it was a, God, it was a life of peace, if you will, praise God. That's the wisdom from above in operation. That's love at its best when you're walking in the wisdom of God that knows to be, knows how to be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath, and ends on the right note. As Sister Beverly stated just a little bit ago, at the end of whatever had to be done, it ended with, I love you, pray God, I love you. And not only to say it just in mere words, but her life demonstrated it. Her life reflected it. And this wisdom that we're talking talking about here, it speaks of in James 3 and 18, it works for the peaceable fruit of righteousness. And when I came to your home just the other day, Sister Beverly, to mom's home, when I came there right around here, not too far from the church, there was peace in that home. Although mom, pray God, absent from the body, present with the Lord, but when we came to that home, Sister Catherine Scott called me, pray God, and Sister Maureen had hooked up with her, and when I came, to, it was still yet peace in that home. Missing mom, missing uh, mother, but yet and still, you could tell there was had been prayer in that home. There was peace in that home, and that makes all the difference in the world is what it is right there. And I was looking there on the program, and it talks about, amen, her, 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 her sister, amen, Sister Monica Gale, amen, um, her brother, Brother Trevor Mathis, and talks about her children and 19 grandchildren and nine great-grandchildren, a host of nieces and nephews, and y'all should have added one more line in there, and that's her Praise Cathedral Church. Come on here, somebody. We thank God for Mother Mathis. Amen. Her life reflected. It just, it, 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 uh, when love is there, it demands, it demands respect. It demands all these other the kind of thing that you would see and her life was a life of a sharing caring and a loving life and she was part of a sharing caring and a loving church pray God that's what made it up here at Praise Cathedral was her life was part of this to mix in that ingredient to have the type of ministry that we have here and to God be the glory pray God on today and uh, on today I want to speak up real briefly in 1 Corinthians the 13th chapter and verse 11, pray God, verse, um, uh, thir uh, first Corinthians 13 and verse 13. And Paul said, and now abideth, and now abideth faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Pray God. And now abide it. When you abide somewhere, when you dwell somewhere, you can let your hair down. You can be at ease. You can rest when you're abiding. That's why Jesus said, I'm the true vine, and ye are the branches. And my father is the husbandman, pray God. And he lets know every branch in him, amen, that beareth not fruit, he take away, but every branch, amen, that abideth in him, amen, he, he, he prunes it, he purges it, it brings forth more fruit. And he said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you you shall ask what you will pray God in John 15 and 7 but now abide it continue to dwell and to move through if you will faith hope and charity but the greatest of these is charity think about mother's life amen a life of faith amen she didn't she didn't stop moving she wouldn't stop moving in the Lord amen the mother of five children pray God coming there from Catherine Jamaica but she wouldn't stop moving if you will her life not only for the Lord but to go on to higher heights in this life pray God and for God to bless her 
to go on and to, be, to graduate with a certificate in accounting and all like that. That's a blessing, not only in the spiritual, but in the natural. First natural, then spiritual. But her life reflected a life, amen, of faith, a life of hope, a life of charity, if you will. Faith kept her moving. Hope kept her moving. Hope is always set before us, but you can see in her life, pray God, and not only did she move, but you can see the fruit of her life, amen, that is spread abroad, amen. We are remembering her on today, amen. Mother had a good understanding. Amen. Coming there from Jamaica, I, I, I wish I'd have really done better. Amen. I, I had a good friend from Jamaica, and he, he, I don't mean, I don't digress, but he could cook a goat, y'all ain't saying that. Pray good, I mean, cook some good goat meat and, and, and have a certain type of juice that I drink, and I still got some in my refrigerator back home and, and all. Pray God. But one other thing is faith, hope, and charity. Pray God. She understood her faith in the Lord. Pray God. Jesus said, amen, in, in Mark 11, 22, he said, have faith in God. Then he turned around and said, if you believe in God, in John 14, 1, he said, believe also in me. But he first told me, have faith in God. Pray God. But then came on back as he revealed himself and said, if you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many men. M Mother understood faith Amen. In a living Savior. She understood faith in a king of kings, if you will. She understood faith and how it worked. Sometime in the United States of America, pray God, we have a president. But she understood in Jamaica, they had the king. All her life, they had the queen, pray God, of British Isles. But now we have a king of the British Isles. She understood a monarchy. Amen. She understood what, a, what kingship meant and all like that, being a country that was nourished by. But at the same same time, she understood who the King of Kings is and the Lord of Lords is Jesus Christ. Come on in, somebody. She understood these things and had a great understanding of how monarchy works and understood we have a king, pray God, that lives forever. Pray God. Her faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on here, somebody. Give him praise on today. He's worthy and worthy to be praised. Amen. Her faith was in operation. Her hope was all we set before y'all saw her, pray God in some tough time you saw her hit some bumps in the road but you also saw God saw God bring her through it come on son you saw God continue to walk her through whatever she was up against enough that her life would inspire her children to do better that no matter where you are amen she put it down on the inside no matter where you are don't settle you can always do better pray God and when you looked at her life her life reflected you can always do better no matter where you are and no matter how good it is and no matter how great it is you can do better no matter what life has to offer you pray God I, I, I thank God Amen. For Sister Beverly, amen, stand right there with it. This daughter with four brothers, but she she stayed close to her mother. She 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 watched very closely her mother's life, and she believed in the same God that her mother believed in. And I thank God, amen, that the promise was not only to mama, but to her children and to her children that are near and those that are far off. And I thank God for Brother Owens picking up on mama's faith in God, amen, and moving out to make Jesus, amen, his own Savior and his own Lord. Somebody will give him praise right down through there. When we are with, hallelujah, the way, the truth, and the life, he said, no man come to the Father but by me. But one thing about it, in order to get mama started, it took love, praise God. She loved the Lord. She, I said she loved the Lord because she realized that he first loved her, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. She realized uh, with her faith, pray God, I serve a God uh, that made the first move. Uh, I serve a God uh, that gave his only begotten son. Uh, he made the first move. Uh, he'll make the last move. Uh, yes, he will. And she trusted that, pray God. She held on uh, to her faith, pray God. She held on. Uh, she was the epitome of uh, uh, that song, uh, no turning back, uh, no turning back. Uh, hallelujah, I found uh, a 
love, uh, and there's no turning back. Uh, her life reflected it. Sunday in and Sunday out, but not just on Sunday. Monday through Saturday, she had a life. Uh, how did that reflect it? Uh, her faith in Christ. Uh, give him praise uh, and give him glory. She had hope uh, to look forward uh, to something greater. When she looked at her children, uh, when she looked at her children uh, and looked back at God, uh, when she looked uh, at Delroy, uh, when she looked uh, at Owen, uh, when she looked uh, at Harold, when she looked uh, at Royston, when she looked at Beverly and looked back at God and looked back at you uh, and looked back at God said, I'm going on with the Lord. I'm going on with the Lord. And that's a blessing. I said faith, hope, and charity. But the greatest of these is charity. Don't you know uh, that mama ended on the right note? I said on the right note. When you hear a good song, you can sing a good song, but you can mess it up somewhere along the way. I'm so glad I'm not a singer, but I can make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, uh, holly, but a good song. Pray God when they close out that final note. Pray God they can leave you waiting for more. They can leave you hungering for more. They can hit that last note. I want to say mama's life ended on a good note. It ended in love. Come on to somebody. She suffered long. She was kind. She envied not. She vaunted not herself. She wasn't puffed up. She didn't behave herself unseemly. She didn't seek her own. She wasn't easily provoked. She didn't sit up and think evil. She rejoiced not in, the, in, in iniquity, but she rejoiced in the truth. Uh, she bare all things. Uh, she believed all things. She hoped all things. She endured all things. Somebody say, charity, uh, God's love, uh, it never fails. Uh, God's love uh, never fails. Mama learned how to walk in that realm. It's the highest realm you can walk in is agape love. There's no fear there. As I close, there's no fear there in agape love. Perfect love casteth out fear. She wasn't afraid of death. Hallelujah. I won't let you know that, pray God. She wasn't afraid of death because God worked on the inside. Perfect love casteth out fear because fear has torment. Pray God, I won't let you know. Pray God, once again, aren't we glad to know that mama, being absent from the body, is present with the Lord. She's walking streets of pure gold now. Pray God, she's in a place of no more, the land of no more, no more sun, no more moon for the Lord himself shall light up there. She's in a city of pure gold. She's in a place where there's a river that runs right down through it. Pray God, with water like crystal. She's in a place that has a tree there with leaves on it for healing of the nation. Come on and give God praise. She's in that place called heaven. And to God be the glory. Uh, everybody. Everyone stand, just one briefly. We'll just stand briefly, pray God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for mother's faith and trust in you. Yeah, that abided faith, hope, and charity. But the greatest of these is charity. And because she went down in you, Lord, when she went to sleep in you the other day, holly resting in you, holly in that day, you will raise her up, God. You will raise her up. Her spirit and her soul is already with you. The last part of her that shall be redeemed is her body, but she'll get a new body. She shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. She shall be changed. Holly, and we thank you for it. She trusted you enough in faith in you. She had hope in you. She loved you enough and you loved her back how she shall be changed hallelujah this mortal shall put on immortality this laying in this briar today this mortal shall put on immortality this corruptible shall put on incorruptible and she shall be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ our Lord now family our prayer for you is that God will bless you now through the life of your mother and the life she lived and pointed you to the only one that's able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. She pointed you unto him. Pray God. Now I pray God, hallelujah, that you will help this family to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing their labor.
labor in you is not in vain. Thank you, Lord, that abided faith, hope, and charity. The greatest of these is charity. And Mother ended on the good, on the right note. In Jesus' name, amen. Give him praise right where you are. God bless you. We love you with the love of God. You may be seated. Uh, we're getting ready, amen, to uh, go to, into another uh, phase, even in worship on today, amen, because her life, amen, is worth, her life is worth living because Christ lived on the inside of her, praise God. She trusted him. She trusted him to the very end. She trusted him. And so we want to thank God for your family again, allowing us to serve you during this time. Amen. There is food that is prepared for you. Amen. Across the hallway to, to carry with you uh, for the immediate family. And I think there's some extra that may be beyond, be beyond the immediate family. Amen. We're going to go into another phase and understand that her final resting place will be in Clarendon, uh, Jamaica, Clarendon, Jamaica. However, we will perform, amen, this uh, uh, ceremony on today. And then I'm sure that they will do that in Jamaica is what it is. As we prepare our hearts. For as much as pleased Almighty God to take out of this world our deceased, Mother, Ma Mother Clara Mathis, we commit her body to Mother Earth, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ at whose second coming and in his glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. If you will, if you repeat the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, Amen. Uh, then Matthew 6 and over in Luke, if you repeat it after uh, Elder Stevens, we'll repeat it after him. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done, on earth, on earth, as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven. Give us this day, give us this day, our daily bread, our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those. As we forgive those. Who trespass against us. Who trespass against us. And lead us not. And lead us not. Into temptation. Into temptation. But deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. For thine is the kingdom. The power. The power. And the glory. And the glory. For now. For now. And forever. And forever. Amen. Amen. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. From henceforth, yea, say the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. God bless you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the management staff at Lewis Funeral Home, we would like to share once again our hearts and our prayers with your entire family and all of your friends. But we certainly share with you our appreciation for allowing us to be a part of this celebration. May God bless you, and may he continue to keep you. It's always our prayer, and again, we thank you. As we prepare to dismiss, we will ask the minister to lead us, and the family will follow the casket. 
God bless you. Once following the briar outside, amen, if you'll come back into the church and off, when you come back in to your left, amen, there are uh, plates that are prepared for the family, amen, for your, for your uh, lunch, for, your, for the repast that are prepared for you, all right? God bless you. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. And the church said, Amen. Amen.